Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Struch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is Saturday. It's the heart of the convention. You can hear from the noise in the background. We've got a good crowd today. We are having a blast. And I have the privilege of sitting here from Friday the 13th, Part 5, Mr. Bob Simone. Bob, how are you? I'm good, Todd. How are you doing? I am doing very good. Good. So, so if I understand correctly, this is your either your first convention or your first East Coast convention? This is my very first ever. Fantastic. Absolutely. So yeah. what do you think so far? I'm just, I, I got to tell you, I'm amazed at the fans. I mean, this is my first convention, and I, over the years, uh, I've been asked to attend them, and I was busy with this, busy with that, and I didn't really know much about conventions, so um, somebody really put the bug in my ear and put me in touch with Chris Majors. Mm. Great guy. Very good guy. He's, yep, my, no he's my agent now, and he booked this for me, and I've just been having a blast. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed at how many fans there are for not just Friday 5, but all the uh, Friday 13th movies. Right, so I, it, it, you, I always ask that question of, of everyone I talk to. Does it surprise you that after all these years, people do want to come out and meet the, the actors and get a, an autograph and a picture? Well, here's the deal. When I did this, I had already left the, the uh, movie business. I was a drummer and a comedian and got into film, and I left the business. And then Danny Steinman, who directed me in Savage Streets, got this uh, Friday Five, and my brother Tom Desimone, the director, called me. He said, get in touch with Danny. So I got in touch just for a laugh, and he only had a little, two little parts left. And he said, damn it, where were you? I've been trying to find you. Your agent said you quit. He said, I got two little parts. Can you make them one person? So I said, yeah. He sent me the script. I made him one person, and I just did this on a lark. And he let me improvise the whole scene inside the car with the cocaine and whatever I right, wanted to right. say. <laughs> because the lines were just, hey, Lana, hey, Lana, and that's it. So I did, I improvised all that. And to me, it was a couple of days' work, and I was off and gone. When I came back years later and found all of this, it just, it literally blew my mind. Just blew my mind. <laughs> I hear that a lot from yeah. first time, not just from first time convention uh, guests, right. from, from long time convention yeah. guests. Yeah. Like, we're still amazed. I'm still amazed <laughs> that it carries all this weight. I really am. Mm. Yeah. So you said this was kind of on a lark, uh, that you were in one of the only one of the biggest horror franchises of all time. <laughs> I guess. But Yeah, are, but we didn't know that then. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, are you yourself a fan of horror films? I like horror films. Uh, I enjoy the Friday series because of the campiness of them. Mm. I've had a lot of people say, oh, they could have had a, a, a bigger budget and this and that. But you know what? There's nothing like a good campy horror film. It has so many different parts to them that make them what they are. Mm. You know, um, and some of the kills they say in Friday Five went too far, but you, you can't go too far. That's what the fans want. Well, so, especially compared to horror films today. Yeah, these are pretty tame. Yeah, they are tame. <laughs> they really you are. Know? Yeah, but for the time, they thought, "Oh my God, this can't be." Yeah. You know, but I love campy movies, and I think all of the Friday Fives are very campy, mm. and uh, I, I enjoy them for that reason. Sure. And I'm really enjoying the fans. I mean, I, I've met so many sweet people here for autographs and pictures and whatnot. It's just, uh, I'm going to continue to do these. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. And again, speaking purely from a fan standpoint, because it's what I, I say it all the time, I'm a fan who gets to do some cool stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's just a joy for me to get to meet people that I grew up watching and right. so the fact that I get to sit here with you is really cool I must oh, say <laughs> I appreciate that I appreciate that so now you mentioned beyond films you had left the business and you became a musician well you I know? was a musician first okay I, yeah. my apologies yeah I still so, am <laughs> okay really so you well, tell me a little bit about that well I came to California when I was 20 and I played for Taj Mahal the blues singer okay. uh, before he started recording and I wound up at uh, a club in West Hollywood called the Ash Grove. And that was the place 
of up-and-coming blues and folk singers, and I wound up in the house band. Then I wound up in the recording studios, and I was playing for a lot of people. And um, I played for Long Gone Miles, Lightning Hopkins, Dr. John, um, uh, Big Mama Thornton, just a lot of the old real, real blue, Curtis Tillman. Uh, and uh, from there I signed on with a country rock band called Country, and we cut an album for Atlantic, and uh, we opened for America, uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, a lot of well-known people, Linda Ronstadt, and the highlight, the two highlights of my career were playing drums for Dr. John, the Night Tripper, and Chuck Berry. Oh, very that cool. was truly, very cool. Uh, you know, so I had a fun career. This was in the 70s, and I had a good time from what they tell me. <laughs> uh, okay. I got you. But we won't go into that. Okay. <laughs> and then I got into comedy, stand-up comedy, and I worked the comedy store, and I did... Uh, Make Me Laugh was a show that was big in the late 70s. I did about 10 of those. And then I dropped into acting. My brother Tom put me in a couple of little little parts in his films. And uh, after a while, I, I just left the business. And that's when, I, that's when I did Friday Five, you know? And this whole thing just came about, which is still very amazing. Very amazing. cool. That sounds like you have had quite the career. I've had a lot of fun, man. Good I for really you. <laughs> and so what are you up to these days? Retired. Again, retired. good for you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm retired. We have a house in Cape Cod and a place in Palm Springs. So we're going to be, I just retired. We're going to be uh, spending our summers in Cape Cod. It was actually easy for me to make this convention because I flew here from Boston. There you go. So it was a hop, skip, and a Not jump. too bad. Yeah, so we'll be Cape Cod summers in Palm Springs in the uh, winters where the temperatures are mild. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Good for you. Bob, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. My pleasure, It Tom. was a pleasure to meet you and to hear about your career. Thank Pleasure's you so much. Mine. Okay. Bob Simone, right, okay. everybody here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm the horror nerd, Todd Stroot, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.